Well, how do then, chums? Rutamondo, tis I, Captain of the Steves, and as you can see, people, I'm in No Man's Sky. I guess I am. Why am I inside of No Man's Sky? Well, I've got some new frigates that I've picked up from attacking those massive, great, big dreadnoughts. So, yeah, let's make this a bit bigger on the screen, and I'll show you my new fleet. So yeah, I say more new fleet. I've got, I've got a couple of additions. So you're probably, probably going to find these at the end. And look, they're all C-class. And you can see that they've got the pirate logo on them. So there we go. We've got this little guy. You can't rotate them. Oh, that's a bit shite, isn't it? But yeah, they all look fairly, fairly the same, to be honest. I mean, what's this one got? Crew and family live on board. Pretty nice. You can go and land on these things, can't you? I haven't done that yet, people. Before I send them out on mission, shall we go and have a look at these new freighters? Shall we go and land on one? I say freighters, they're frigates, aren't they? Yeah, let's go land on one. We'll take my um, sentinelized ship and land on my sentinelized frigate. Well, it's not sentinelized, it's pirate, but you know what I mean. Anyway, take one off. <sighs> Have I got a sail ship? I have got a sail ship. I could have flown over on the sail ship. Right, now we've just got to find the dang things amongst my fleet, which could be fun. Let's spin this around and let's see if we can spot one of them. Oh, is that one right there? I think it might be. Mm, maybe? Uh, no, I don't think it is actually, is it? Or is it? I don't recall these ones before. Okay, I think this could be one of the new ones. Maybe there's a couple of types. Let's land there then. Yeah, um, let's have a look around when we land on this deck anyway. Yeah, a status report. Interloper Captain. The general units. Okay, we'll have some of that. Thank you very much. Okay, I don't know whether this is one of the new types, to be honest. But uh, let's have, let's go in the old camera mode. Let's have a look. See, I don't think it is. Look, there's one of the new types over there with the sails on. Now I've got three of them, so I've got three new ones. So yeah, I don't think this is one of them actually. Okay, cool. But anyway, we landed on this one. <laughs> let's take on off. Let's fly on over and let's land on the correct one this time, shall we, people? Meow. Okay, right. So there's one over there. I can see it right here with these glowing wings on it. It's got the solar cells and all that sort of shenanigans. Okay, let's bring it in. And let's land it somewhere on here. There you go. There's one of the landing platforms. This is the first time I've been on one of these. Oh, I like the sort of smoke effects and stuff on this. That's pretty gnarly, isn't it? Traveller friend, welcome aboard. Salute to Mondo. Well, he hasn't been out on any missions. That's probably why he hasn't offered me anything. Oh, this is freaking crazy. Look at this. Look at that giant warhead that's on board. Holy fudge. I don't know whether I was supposed to do that and just walk across the gantry like this. I got overly excited and just jumped. Okay, but well, there is walkways on this thing. Maybe I should stick to the walkways. <laughs> okay, right. Well, it looks like you can go inside this thing too. Now, I did say that the crew live on board. The only thing is, is that's not true. You know, you can walk around these things. You're not going to find any crew on them. Even though I just got hailed by the captain of this thing, you can't find them. There's nobody on these things. They're as dead as dead can be. Which is a bit of a missed opportunity, I think, people, isn't it? So there's all these little consoles to do repairs, should this get broken. This looks like the warp core or something. That's freaking awesome. Anyway, let's head on back up to my ship then. Let's go and send these out on missions. Because basically what I might do is just log in each morning and show you me sending these out on missions, selecting missions and all that sort of shenanigans. Yeah, sorry. I'm, 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 well, there you go. I have another salute then, but um, I'm taking off, mate. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, just do a couple of missions. Uh, I also might visit the station inside of the system. I might jump systems every single episode. I mean, at the moment, we're in quite a cluttered area of space, aren't we? Lost my blanking freighter now. How can I lose my freighter? There it is. And, uh, yeah, I might go inside of the station because I've got another multi-tool that I need to upgrade. And I'm, I'm just going to take my time with it. I'm not going to go mental. I'm just going to take my time. Anyway, let's fly on in. Let's go and select some missions to send these frigates out on. And we'll see how long it takes for them to get to be in an S-Class, peeps. So it's a daily sort of jaunt. I could also run a Quicksilver mission, couldn't I, really? But, you know, that could be pushing it. Let's head on over then. Let's uh, go teleport up to the bridge. And let's go and send some of these frigates out on missions, shall we, people? Righto, what do you got for me today? I'm hoping for combat missions, really. Okay, here we go. View potential expeditions. In fact, I don't even know what those ones are good for at the moment. So I'm not seeing much in way of combat. It would have a little pew pew type logo. This one's only going to take two hours. And that one's only going to take one hour. It's balanced. 
Let's send it out on. Let's send it out on that. It's a two star. Let's um, assign some ships then. Right. So we're sending these. You can see here these are very good at combat. So we'll do that anyway. And then we'll send a support ship out with them. One of my S classes. That's probably going to be fine on everything else. So we we'll send that one. That's got relatively high stats across the board, hasn't it? There we go. Send Chucky with them. That should actually. Yeah. Look, that's five starred my mission level. So it's all good. And let's um let's send that then. Let's uh, send them out on their expedition. Meow. They're off. They're off. They're off and away. Heck yes, they are. Coolio. Right. Well, it's only going to take two hours for that mission to run, people. Right. And in that time, I'm going to go and check out my multi tool. So let's have a look which multi tool it is that I want to upgrade. The one I want to upgrade is this one. I don't think I've done anything on it. As you can see, it's a C-Class at the moment. It's quite a lovely multi-tool. We'll head on over to the station. We'll see what modules are in the station, people. But first, I think I'm going to jump system, because like I said, this one's quite cluttered, isn't it? So let's bring up the old galactic map. Let's just jump somewhere else. There we go. I'm not too sure why this is such a busy system of space, but we'll, we'll go... Shall we go where my frigates have gone? Where have they gone? Uh, they've gone just here. Oh, OK. Data unavailable system. It might not have a station, so that's not a good idea, actually. We'll go over here somewhere. Viking, free star. OK, well, we know the Viking like their violence. It's also a high conflict zone. There's a chance it might spawn in a dreadnought, people. We shall see. Let's have a little sip of my tea, because, yes, this is my new merch mug. And it's got all the artwork on it by, um, by, I can't remember a freaking name. It just slipped out of my mind. It was on the tip of my tongue then. Was it Holdera? I think it's Holdera. Yes. And look, we've got the 07 brew on the other side for my own brand of tea. Yes, links are inside the video description. Of course, you won't attack a dreadnought if you're jumping in your freighter, Steve. Yeah, should have jumped in my ship, shouldn't I? Yummy. Nice cup of tea. I mean, now that I have jumped in my freighter, though, I have got this lovely scanner here that scans the whole system. You can see all the planets in this system, which is pretty darn nice. Yeah, you can just hover over them now and you know exactly what they are. Oh, a purple overgrown star bramble planet. Very nice. Frost crystal. We've got a fungal mold planet there as well. That's half tempting to go and visit that, isn't it? Hasn't got water by the looks of things. But yeah, we could go take a gander at that, I suppose. Anyway, let's uh, head on over to the station in this system and see if there's any decent modules. And uh, I'm hoping to buy a couple of S classes. I might do the re-roll, re depending if there is some decent S classes there. I can upgrade the multi-tools class, which is not a problem. And I'm probably going to chuck it into creative mode so I don't have to spend all my nanites on that. Because, you know, I've, I've got multi-tool after multi-tool, and sometimes I get bored with multi-tools and just swap them out on the fly. And I, I, I do tend to just slip it into creative mode if I'm doing that, just to get it up to the right sort of class. We'll see what sort of damage we can get on this thing, but I'm not overly fussed if it's not, like, massive numbers, you know. If somebody hits me up and says, Captain Steve, mine's got double the numbers. Don't really care, mate. You know, because at the moment, you know, combat, although it's been upped greatly, it's still not, like super intense it's not like you're going to be hard pushed by any of the enemies you don't really need to be super op for any of the enemies it's nice to have those numbers don't get me wrong but i'm not really a min maxer i'm not really in the game for that i'm just here for casual play right there so if i jump on out of my ship i'm going to go and have a look what modules the actual um, multi-tool vendor has got and up the ramp lovely jobs and over to here. Now, this is where I'm going to pop it into creative mode. So if I go into options, difficulty, and just hit it over into creative, that means I'm going to get everything for free. Yeah, it's an in-game sort of mechanic. But here we go. Bum, 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 bum. And let's upgrade that class. That's 3,300 nanites, but I just saved myself. Let's do that again. Pow! That's another 8,000. Lovely. That takes it up to A. And now to take it all the way up to S. Chicka -ba -ba. Chicka boom boom. Right, now some of my favourite weapons are probably not the same favourite weapon modules that you guys like. I quite like the Neutron Cannon, the one that you charge up. It's almost like a charged grenade. It's got like um, radial damage that it does and it's just great for taking out sort of it's great for clearing out freighters and things you know the derelicts it's great for that so let's see what he's got anyway hello there buddy purchase upgrade modules we've got scatter blast oh neutron cannon they're my two favorites scatter blaster and neutron cannon they're the two i want 
Holy fudge! Okay, well, I'm going to buy that then. Oh, my inventory is full. Okay, well, let's see if I can sell anything. I don't really need that or that. Uh, what the fudge is that when it's at home? I'd better keep that. Oh, I don't know what that is. I might be able to install that, actually. Let's, um, let's see where that is. Because I think that makes the phage camps appear, don't it? Let's, uh, let's get that installed then. I'll stick that in here somewhere. Chicka pow! Yeah, I think that makes the phage camps appear. You know what we could do while we're here? We could put in a load of extra slots while we've still got it in creative mode, can't we? So here we go. Let's put that in then. Chicka pow, 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 pow. Lovely. Uh, where are my boosted slots on this one, though? Oh, look, they're in a very odd position there. Okay, right. Uh, now let's see if there's anything... I could go and sell a load of other stuff. I've got a lot of clutter inside of my inventory, haven't I, people? There's probably people out there right now that have seen my inventory and said I, I, I wouldn't be able to deal with that mess. No, I really wish there was an auto-sort button, you know? Right, okay, let's go through this and let's, uh, let's sell that, let's sell that. Let's see what else we can sell. Liquid explosives. Why have I got liquid explosives? I've got lots of bones here. This is probably from weekend mission running and all sorts of other stuff and scrapping things that I just haven't managed to, you know, get rid of yet. So let's um, go through all of this and uh, let's just give it a bit of a tidy. Got all sorts of cack in here, to be honest. All right. Uh, da -da -da -da. Unstable gel, you can go as well. Factory override unit, don't really need them, but I could give them away rather than just sell them. Again, we can sell those, sell that. What else we got in here? We've got lots of parts for a staff. They don't sell for much, do they? I could just give them away. I've got the staff I want, so you know what? I might do that. I might pop on over to the old Nexus and just find some people and give all these bits away to them. I'd look for somebody that's in their original spacesuit, someone that's only just started playing. I'll give them all the bits. Then again, saying that, they'd probably go, well, what the fudge do I do with these? And they probably won't be able to find themselves an echo location camp for freaking months. So maybe that's not the best idea. Oh, well, I'll give it them. I'll give them away anyway. Right, let's head on through here. Lovely jobs. And yeah. And now I can buy those two modules, hopefully, my friend. Yes, come on. Purchase modules. Right, so once I've bought one, it's going to be sold out. I can't buy another one, okay? So I'm just going to install these. There you go, bow. Right, stick that over here. Back to my exosuits, and this is the one that I want to be boosted, like majorly boosted. So if I stick that there, go into here and put in these guys, the neutron cannon, chicka pow, chicka pow, chicka boom, and then put my other one here, that one, chicka pow, chicka pow, chicka boom. And then if I put an S class on that and an S class there, I think we're in business. I think that's going to be pretty darn freaking lethal. Lethal bizzle when I get it to that stage. Now to get this vendor to restock more, you know, if this was um, Starfield, you can sit on a bench and just wait for 24 hours or whatever. Inside of No Man's Sky, you haven't really got that luxury. What you do is you jump in your ship, out of your ship, that creates an autosave. Then you go into here and you just reload your same autosave. And it should bring you back inside of the iteration. And that vendor should have replenished all of his stock, people. Yes, yeah, it's a bit of an oddity, that one, but it, it works. A little sip of me tea. Why not? Yeah. Why this is reloading? Pretty darn nice, that. Look, we're back in game, anyway. Yummy, yummy, yummy. And let's, uh, let's leg it up there. I actually put two sugars in this morning. Yeah, I've been trying to cut down my sugar to one sugar or even just having honey. We'll run out of honey, so I was on like half a spoon. But today I just thought, no, sod it. I'm going to go full fat. I'm going to have a little bit of sugar today. Yeah, need it, to be honest. Wake myself up a bit. Okay, well, let's head on over then. Purchase modules. Let's see if we can grab another scatter blaster and another neutron cannon. Right, so I think you get the idea. I'm going to install these, but you can put into up to three of these S-Class modules into a multi-tool. And then it breaks after that, so yeah, we're just going to put in the free. There we go, pow! And I'm going to do another reload, and I'm going to reinstall these. But um, I reconvene with you people once I've got them actually installed, because you don't need to see me do another reload, do you? Well, chums, we reconvene, and look, I found my other two boosted slots. They were under these guys. So is there a way that I can maybe conjoin these together into there? to make use of both of those boosted slots. I don't think so, but I can make use of three if I put it in like an S shape. 
Hmm. Okay. Um, that kind of will work. Let's just move that up of there. Put the S class on there. Then put that on there. That's given me 5,000 damage. That's pretty darn snaz. That's pretty darn snaz if I don't say so myself. If I put that there in that block, yeah. You see, that makes a big freaking difference, doesn't it? A really big difference. Okay, so we'd have it like that. We've got the scatter blaster over here at the moment. And um, I think another thing that I might boost is perhaps the scanner. If I can find an S-class scanner module and stick that on there, that might be a thing. I mean, I, I, for now, I can just put that there and then I can just put on this one, perhaps, or something. Attachment, yeah, scan radius, yeah, um, yeah, it's not too bad, I suppose. But is there another scanner one? What's this one? Yeah, it doesn't give me any boost to any of the... Um, I was hoping it might give me a boost to some of the scanned monies that you get for scanning things. I mean, I like scanning stuff, you know, it's just what I do. OK, so we've got this one, Geometric Anomaly, which is mining laser. So I might as well stick all the mining laser ones in here as well. So yeah, I'll be, I'll be right back with you. I'm just going to stick in a load of modules since I'm in creative mode. I might as well get the basics in for my multi-tool. I'll be right back. Well, OK, there, chums. Well, I've got my neutron cannon as I wanted, as you saw before. I've put in a couple of scanner modules, but I need to get some S-class of ones of those. So as we're sending out the frigates on missions, we're going to jump to stations. We're going to look for some of these other modules that I need to complete the set. I've put all the ones that are individual down here. So I've got the Animus Beam. Yeah, you get that from doing the Living Ship Starbirth mission. I've got a whole playlist on Starbirth. I've put it up there for you. It's like an adventure episode, a voice act for Exo. It was great. And also, you also get the Solar Ray during that same video sequence. So go and watch that. Heck yes. Interesting, that one. You also end up with a living ship at the end, so it's well worth doing if you haven't done it already. Um, the train manipulator. And I've also got my personal force field cloaking device and that thing to bring in the phage sort of camps. So at the moment, it's a pretty well-rounded multi-tool. We've got the actual scatter blaster fully upgraded as well. We've started with the mining beams. I need to get some more S-class modules for that. So I want to do the scanner. I want to do the actual mining beams. And then I'm toying with putting in another weapon. Do I go with bolt caster or do I go with the uh, pulse splitter? I do like the, um, the spitter, to be honest, because it's actually got a fire module that sets things on fire now so i kind of like that i really do so yeah there is that people might go for that one but anyways i think this is a work in progress not a bad little multi-tool we've got it up to s class in this episode people now it hasn't quite been the the time limit we need for to actually debrief our frigates but you know what i could always go and run a quick quicksilver mission see how this multi-tool's getting on couldn't i yeah, I've still got confetti flying out of my freaking exosuit. You know what? I'm going to go fix that as well. As much as I like confetti flying out of my exosuit, I'd rather hatch the, have the glitch separator back in. Yeah, it's my favourite sort of backpack trail. So let's go into here, backpack, and let's go and choose the trail. So, scorching trail, electric trail. You know what? Let's go for scorching trail for a while. I might as well have something new for a bit. Yeah, that's quite cool. Talking of which, there is another jetpack trail being unlocked right now. We'll have a look at that in a moment, people, on the actual No Man's Sky Assistant app and see what the progress bar is. In fact, we're going into the Nexus. We can have a look at it inside the Nexus, can't we? But I do like using the No Man's Sky Assistant app. And if you don't know what I'm on about, links are in the video description. There's an app for your mobile phone, and it's so helpful for a lot of things No Man's Sky related. Yes, it's awesome. Right, well, let's head on in. Um, it takes a little while to load in, doesn't it? So I'll see you in a sec. OK, so we're in the Nexus. Let's go see Johnny Five. You can tell by that bar there, though, it's around about the 50% mark. Looking at that bar, I'm going to make a guess. I'm going to say 53%. Let's go and have a look, see. Make Quicksilver items. There we go. And oh, it's 54. 54%. And it looks like we're going to be unlocking this one. Pellets of chromatic metal ignite during flight, splitting into glittering stars of RGB. It's like a fireworks display. And then after that, we've got the plasma jetpack. Then after that one, the fusion jetpack trail, which is like lightning and fire at the same time. I think that might become my new favourite, people. We'll have to wait and see. These are 800 Quicksilver a throw, and yeah, going fairly rapidly. I kind of think once those get to the end, once we get to that last one, and it's about 80-90%, I think we might start seeing depots doing things and excitement gathering inside of the No Man's Sky community, people. But no, that's just me. That's just some guesswork there. Some speculation. I like speculation. Let's see what 
mission I can do then, people. Survey a planet. I did say I like to scan things, and that's going to give me some quicksilver. So we might as well do it. Let's go scan a planet then, people. This could take me a little while and start a mission. There it goes. Oh, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm still in freaking difficult. Oh, no, you can't change your difficulty. Well, I've, I've already started it then, have I? Yep, ready up the Nexus and begin the Okay, let's do that then. Let's uh, ready the mission. Yeah, start mission. Let's do this. I think it automatically puts you back inside of normal mode anyway. Yeah, could do. I don't know. If it's in creative mode, it's in creative mode. <laughs> All right, well, let's uh, head on out then. Let's fly on down to the planet and let's start the survey, people. It's probably going to walk me to another system, which might not be a bad thing. Let's see if it does or doesn't. Oh, let's hope it takes us to that... Oh, it has walked us. I was going to say, it'd be nice if it took us to that purple planet that I scanned earlier that I said I wouldn't mind putting boots on the ground on. Hmm. Let's see what time's left by the time I finish surveying this planet, people. Anyway, I'll see you on the planet's surface. I know I said I'd see you on the planet's surface, but look at this nebula. It's as pink as pink can be. I want to go to the, the uh, day side of this planet. It's locking onto the actual marker, which is a bit of a shame. I want to go around the opposite side. I don't want to land on this planet at night. Now, this is a Karulian planet with activated idiom. Whenever I see the word activated, um, that sort of gets me a little bit nervous because that means that there's going to be massive storms coming in. Now, if it is in creative mode, that's not a problem. <laughs> but if it's not in creative mode, um, that can be a bit of a problem. Which means you're going to have to be topping up your hazard protection every five minutes. And when surveying a planet, that's never fun. Now, with these planets, I tend to fly in a little bit slow because sometimes they can have crazy fauna on, uh, flora, sorry, like it has here, like all this fungally stuff. And you don't want to get your ship knotted up in all of that. And usually you just bounce off, but occasionally you can get stuck. So just be a little bit careful. Oh, there is little rivers on this planet. Okay, this isn't a bad planet to be doing the survey on, to be honest. Cool. All right. Well, let's, um, let's see how we get on, though, because sometimes surveying a planet can be really annoying. Yeah. Trying to find the last freaking mineral or something can be a right git. It depends on how how to town they've gone on this. I mean, it says I've got to find nine minerals. Now, you probably think, well, there's loads of rocks on this planet. But look, I've scanned one rock. Now I can't scan that one because it's the same sort of type of rock. So look, there's a rock here. And it's just, it just gets really difficult to find new rocks. Yeah, yeah it's the resources that usually get me. There we go. We've got some budgie regards flying around in the sky. We get those scanned. OK, we're scanning the bush. Doesn't matter. We've got to scan everything anyway. Just scan whatever we can. Let's just scan that. Oh, okay, that doesn't scan. What about this? Does that scan? Yes, that's another flora done. Okay. It says that I've already scanned one rock. I'm sure I just scanned another rock. Yeah, doesn't matter. Scan the creatures. Oh, okay. I can't scan that one. Ah, what the fudge? Hello, mate. Yeah, are you okay? Cool, good. Nice to see you. Right, let's scan this rock. Oh, no, that's a creature that I just scanned. It sort of came through the rock, didn't it? There we are. Done. What else have we got on here? Can we scan these? No, look, those giant plants aren't scannable. Strange that. We've got some air worms. They're sort of like, almost like air whales, though. Look at them. They're pretty cool, aren't they? Yeah, we've got some other rocks over here. Scan that one. There's another rock there. Scan that one. Ooh, new mineral record. Pretty cool. Yeah, right. Bum, bum, bam, 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 scanning stuff. Scanning stuff, scanning stuff. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so we're on five of the nine, which isn't too bad, is it? Doing all right, doing okay. What have we got here? Yeah, scanning that one as well. Now you can go in caves, scan inside the caves as well. Sometimes you can find additional rocks there. If you go to the top of mountains, you find new rocks on top of mountains. You can go in the oceans, find new rocks in the oceans. Now this has got water on this planet. I wouldn't say they're oceans. They look quite kind of knee deep. Um, but we can go in there anyway and see if we can scan a couple of things. There might be a couple of creatures or something in there. Oh, there we go, there's another creature. Let's scan him. Lovely. I don't know this way. Okay, there's another creature behind there. Look, there's some water down there. We go dive in the water in a bit. Meow. Why did my melee strafe jump not work? That was a bit, a bit cack. Right there. Let's scan that rock. What about you? Are you a different type of rock? No, you're not. This is where it starts to get a bit more tricky. 
as you've scanned quite a lot it gets a little bit there you go look that rock was sitting amongst them but it looked it doesn't look much different to that one does it ah there's a cave here before we go in the ocean let's go in the cave let's see if we can scan some more stuff inside of here oh great that's not the biggest cave in the world is it ah dang it okay okay well we're going in the ocean then i guess yes what about you i've scanned you already Okay, there seems to be another creature just around here. Oh, we can scan that hazardous plant. That would count as a flora. Move out of the way. I want to scan... Okay, I'll scan this anyway. You can scan these plants too, and the oxygen ones. And also the blue ones, if you can find them. Chikapa! Done. All right, let's head into the old ocean then. Uh, oh, God. There's not much of an ocean. See what I mean? It's a blinking trickle, isn't it? But then we can scan that. That, that counts as a rock. Heck, yes, it does. All right. Oh, what are you? Okay, we've got some jellyfish. Let's scan them. Jellyfish, jellyfish. Any more rocks? Oh, yep, well, there's another rock there. Boom! Hold on, why did that not go... Okay, I think we might have done the rocks now. We're on to plants. We're on to plants, people. So we need some more vegetation. Let's see if we can find some more vegetation in the ocean. Look, there's, a, there's, a, there's an underwater plant there. Let's get that scanned. All tricky. There we go. Got it. That's seven. Cool. Is there any others? What the fudge are you? Okay, that's a two jellyfish merged together. That was a bit freaking creepy. Well, I've not seen that before. <laughs> okay, right. Well, if I can find a kelp plant, the oxygen plants, that that that'll be scannable. That would work. But no, no, not finding it. I know the la I know a quick plant that I could find. That'd be an oxygen plant. Let's do a scan. Right, oxygen, just over there. Meow. Let's go scan that one, and that would complete our plants. Ah! Bounced off the world. Okay. Are there any other plants, though, before we get there? Oh, there might be a hazardous flora there. No, that's one of the pumpy ones. I've already scanned that one. Okie pokey. Oh, well, we're nearly done, anyway. Come on, over there. Let's get over this. Can I scan these giant mushrooms? No, they're not scannable. Yeah, they're just window dressing. What about these bushes? These purple bushes? Yes, that's scannable. Cool, there we go. Well, that should be the plants done. Now we need to use our sweep scanner to find hot points. This is always fun. Dum -dum. Okay, so here we go. Let's go find this one first. Yes, we've got gas. Gas deposit. So we're heading this way, people. Hiya! Hiya! this way oh it actually looks really cool in this scanner mode doesn't it look at that pink it's very cool oh there's also been a load of new words added in so you know what i might as well hit up some knowledge stones as we go boom and i st still need to learn all of the phage the phage language so you know we, we could learn some of that while we're here as well let's um let's do this mission first and we jump back to the other system you know that purple planet that i like the look of Maybe we could put the boots on the ground there and have a quick look see at that. Right, so we've got 30 odd U's to go this way. Let's go then. There we are. Lovely jubbly. Analyzing hotspot. Yes, what's a hotspot not? Prices. Yes, if you don't know what I'm on about, that was um, the Generation Game with Michael Barrymore. If you've never watched that, it's a quiz show, all right, yeah. But the guy is freaking insane. It's such a funny show. And it's such a shame Michael Barrymore isn't on air anymore because Oh, I loved Michael Barrymore. He was just brilliant. Yeah, I wish I, I wish you'd have a comeback. There we go. Done. That's that one done. Okay, now we need to find this one. Okay. Um, apparently, it's over this way. By 300 years this way. Okay, cool. All right, fine. Well, this could be fun. I've got to go through a mountain. I'll go round the mountain. I could go through the mountain using my terrain manipulator, but sometimes you hit, like, bedrock or or barriers that don't let you go all the way through the mountain. And you're like, oh, great, I've just dug a freaking tunnel, like, half a mile long. Right, so here we go. I, I would say always go round a mountain rather than through a mountain, but I've seen people go through mountains and they've had no problems whatsoever. For me, though, for me, it, it always fudges up, buddy. It's just, it's just not worth it. Again, let's go around here, then. Okay, it's actually taken me in the mountain though, which is a bit freaking weird. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go up the mountain then. Let's go on top of the mountain. Let's see if it's actually up here. It's close. It's freaking close. All right. 
And we're going back on ourselves. Maybe I might have to dig down into this mountain to get to this hot spot, which is unusual. Oh, hello, buddy. Look at him. He's just walking by. like, yeah, I'm just going for my morning stroll. There's a dog taking itself for a walk. Frickin' mentals. That's a good point. If dogs could walk upright, maybe they could do that themselves in our world. No, I don't think that's going to work, Steve. Well, it might. It might. No. No, okay, I'll just go this way. Uh, dum -dum 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 -dum. And have we found this area? We're close. Come on, any second now. Do 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 do. Let's do a little jump. Zoom. Let's do another little jump. Oh no, we don't need to. It's going to dial in any second now. There we go. And we're bang on it. There we go. And found located. Now we just need the lightning one, the power one. So boom. No hot spots nearby. Now this is where I'm going to need my headset because I need to be able to hear the game sound. There's a little bit of a tip here, people. Okay, so when Exo finishes saying what he's saying, when you bring up your scanner, as you go round, it makes different noises like dip, dip. Did you hear that? Different sound. So normally it makes this sound. When it makes that sound, head that direction. So here we go, let's go this way. And eventually it should start tracking in for the electricity. So this way is going to be an electricity spot. Now look, my hazard protection isn't going down, so I'm still in creative mode, thank fudge. There you go, look. It's dialed in now. Sweet. Oh, this is a bit of a bit deep, this one. We're getting closer. It's like that movie Aliens. Okay, let's go up the mountain then. Let's go this way. I can't see because of the storm. I'm just following the blinking scanner and holding down my jetpack button. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on right now, people, because of the storm. But it seems to be going down still, doesn't it? In a roundabout way. Well, I think we're climbing a mountain right now. I can't be sure, though. I think I am. Okay, it's still going down. I have no idea where I am. Well, this is fun viewing for you guys. I mean, at least I've got a joypad in my hand. Uh, we can get there in a second. Oh, there we go. I think we're there. Right. I don't want to fall off the edge. There we are. Done! Okay. Analysis completed. There's my ship over there. Okay, let's call in my ship anyway. Because I think I have to turn this in. I have to upload it somewhere. Yeah, as if this mission isn't long enough already. You have to go and hand it in somewhere. Right, okay. Oh, great. You need to use a signal booster. I forgot that bit. Alright. Um, okay. You know what? I'm gonna do it. At a, I'm gonna do it at a trading post. Solid. What's a trading post? At least there's some landing pads there or something, isn't there? Okay. We just. Oh yeah, there's a trading post over here. We we'll go there. Because there's a storm, I just want somewhere decent to land that's quite flat. And there's also a chance that it might say hand it in at the trading post anyway. So, whoa, Nelly! Right. Let's go up through the atmosphere, out of this bloody storm. And then let's lock on and fly back down again. That makes more sense. Hiya! Captain Steve! Heck yes! Captain Steve! No one else can do the things you do. Captain Steve, like a border thunder from the blue. Captain Steve, Captain Steve, flying through all the galaxy is in search of Euclid. He's found it and it's his home. There we go, boom! 
Done, 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 done. Let's pick that one up and kaboom. Right, so we've done that. Okay, let's go back to the Inspect Anomaly. Lovely jubbly. Zoom! Chicka pow pow, chicka boom boom! Flying in. Let's go and claim my quick silver. It's been well earned! I guess it has. Right, I've still got the old headphones on, but you know what? They're now a fashion accessory. They match my logo colours. It's a new headset. It's, it's not bad. Just a cheap one I found on Amazon's, to be honest. There's nothing high quality about them in any way, shape or form. But I'll tell you what, they sound quite bassy. The speakers in them ain't bad. Right, well, let's go get the old Quicksilver. What? I've completed the frickin' mission, mate. It told me to come back to the Nexus. Uh, let's try that again, then. Leave mission. It says on mission. Apparently, I've still got something to do. I don't know what I've got to do, though. Um, log. I, I just, I just bloody did that. All right, okay, I guess I'm doing that again, then. Whatever reason, that didn't work, people, in the view of us. Oh, reach the upload station. I don't know. Alright. So, yeah, the signal booster just locked us into a location by the looks of things, people. And I went back up to the station before I should have. It's been a long time since I've done the survey mission. Hold on. What the fudge is this that's taken us to, people? Ooh. Okay, we're going to this little building. Sweet. Okay, well, we, we'd go upload this for the second time, because I'm a numpty. And then uh, I think we'd exit into my normal area of space and go to that purple planet, and we'd learn some phage words. All right, lovely. We're inside of here. I'll have that. Thank you very much. Nice. Can I learn a word from this wall panel? That'd be nice. Oh, no. He gave me that. What about this one? Is that going to learn me a word? No. All right. Balls. Let's upload this then. Sweet. Upload data. There you go. Done. Now I've finished the mission. Log out. I don't know how many new Viking words they've added, but this is a Viking planet. And technically, I could have, you know, hit up a few more knowledge stones while I'm here, but there doesn't seem to be an abundance of knowledge stones at this place. So, yeah, probably not the best idea in the world. Right, anyway, let's uh, get out of here. Zoom. Let's go back on up to the Nexus then. And up to the Nexus in the sky. That's where I want to go. Must try death. To run the weekend, the weekend mission. Here goes. Meow. Ready, people. Now I can claim my Quicksilver. Right, I landed. I just cut that bit out because, you know, we've all seen that like a billion times. Let's head on over here then. Let's go and collect that Quicksilver. Thank you very much, Nexus. Don't mind if I do. Complete mission. Thank you very much. 400 Quicksilver is mine. I know. Lucky man me. Right, let's head on over. I mean, you only have to do two missions to get one of those jetpack trials and affordability standards. Right, well, I'm just going to jump out just to make a save, just in case something weird happens as I fly out the Nexus, but it's probably not. Hopefully it's going to ask if I want to exit to my normal area of space, or it's going to warp me. If it warps me, I'd just cut for a while and drink some tea. Right, well, I've arrived, Kated, back in my own system of space. Yes. Okay, I think this was I think this was the system that had this this was a Viking system anyway. Right, where's that purple planet? There it is. Look at that. We'll head on down. We'll learn some of the um, we'll learn some Viking words, and we might as well learn some phage words when we're there, people. Well, holy fudge! This place is not flat by any stretch of the imagination. Right, so let's go into the old multi tool and let's use my phage thingy. Locate a camp. 
sweet. That's what I was hoping for, Exo. Right, let's fly on over this way then. Okay, uh, where did the autophage camp... Oh, it was right underneath me, was it? It was! Okay. Let's go down here then. Oh, that's pretty darn cool, isn't it? Right by me. Okay, well, let's land quite close to it then. The terrain on this planet is freaking gnarly. I don't know whether finding knowledge stones for the Viking language is going to be all that much fun. There they are! Hello, phages! Let's go see these guys. Hello, mate. Hello. Offer assistance. Um, present a gift. There you go. I, I just want to learn some of your words, to be honest, mate. But I don't know whether you've got that there. You've got offer assistance. I'd rather not. I, I'd, what about the uh, practice language then, or whatever? Is that going to help me learn a word? Yes. Request dialect help. There we go. I forgot which menu option it was. Sweet. I'll learn a travel symbol, please. We'll learn the word for discover. I thought I saw one of you sneaking around over here. Hello, buddy. There you go. Practice language. Sweet. You know what? I'm going to visit you again, though. And I'm going to give you a gift. Because I want to up my actual um, standing with these guys as well. So even after I've learnt all these words, we've got to up our standing with the pirates as well. So, you know, there's, there's lots I could do. I mean, I could run a couple of these missions to up my standing with them. But at the moment, I can just give them gifts. And I'm learning words, so... Might as well learn as many words as I can from these guys before I start doing anything major with them. I want to learn all their words before the next update, because there could be some more lore inside of the next update. So yeah, learning their words is a must. Hello, buddy. And there we go. Have some of those. And then I learn a word. There we go. And the friendship symbol. Might as well. Requests. All right. Well, I think I've got all of these auto pages done, haven't I? What about this guy? Did I do this guy? I think I did. Yeah, I did. Righto, so that's one autophage camp done and dusted, people. And we've got our rank up to being an artificia, whatever that is. And we've got ourselves a new milestone. Is there any... Is there any um, knowledge stones? Yes, there's one knowledge stone there. So, 162 U's. I don't think this is going to be the best planet to be doing this on. Because it's really, really freaking hilly. But I was going to learn a couple of Viking words. I mean, we could just go to the station. I mean, I'm going to be going to the stations in future episodes anyway to try and get some more modules for my um, multi-tool. Oh, there's two there. That's, that wasn't too bad. It's not too bad at all. Yeah, so you know what? I might just go back on up to the station, talk to the Viking in the station. But this is the sort of thing that I'm going to be doing each morning. So, you know, I'm going to be... Looking for modules, learning a few words, sending my frigates out on missions. So hopefully you're going to join me for those. I'll have it with my morning cup of tea. It's only going to be like an hour long episode, something like that. But hopefully it's just going to keep my toes dipped into No Man's Sky for a bit. Let's go to the station then. And let's uh, go and learn some Viking words. Right, okay people, let's head on up and let's go speak to some Viking. Hello there buddy. Yes, I want to learn some words from you, my friend. Um, that's quite a lot of text. What the fudge? Nope, I've already got Gar on my weapons terminal. Thank you for your offer, but I just wanted to learn a poxy word. Hello there, buddy. Don't you offer to be a... No, oh, here we go, this is better. Yeah. Dialect help, please. Oh, there's quite a lot to be learned. All right, fine. We might have to go to a few Viking systems during my little travels. Yeah, okay, cool. You should see that list get smaller and smaller as we go through all of this, but there seems to be a fair few words to be learned, or a few different types of words to be learned. Okay. 
Yeah, it's, it's down by one at the moment, but yeah, there's still quite a lot of words to be had then. Sweet, have I visited you already? I mean, I can talk to the Gek while I'm here as well, and any other race, because I've got to learn their words too. Like this guy. That's a traveller over behind him. We don't want to. We don't really want to talk to him. I've got all the glyphs, so there's no real overly need to talk to them. Apart from they do give some really lovely lore, and some of that lore can be pretty dark. So if you haven't hit up my Traveller's Lore episode, or playlist, I should say, you might want to watch that playlist. It's freaking awesome. There you go. I'll go start like hell. Oh. Sweet. Okay. Go. Cool. Done. You know what? I think that's probably a good stopping point for today's episode. Apart from, we should go and debrief and send my frigates out on another mission. Let's see how much time is remaining on my frigates, shall we, people? You know what? Rather than fly there... Well, that's a nice side rail fighter that just flew in. That is quite nice, actually. I'm not really keen on the, the fans on the back. That's OK. And I'm just going to teleport over to my freighter. Yes, I want to go to my freighter. It's in the current system, so this should be instantaneous. It should be like, boom. There you go. Aha. Sweet Caroline. Bow, bow, bow. Well, might as well hit a save anyway. I think I've got, I think I've got a little while. Let's have a look. So which one is it? It's the one that's all lit up, this one here. Excuse me, buddy. You're, you're kind of at my holographic terminal. Yep, yeah, there he goes off. Speak with Commander. Let's see how much time's remaining on this one then. I got another 40 minutes. So you know what? I'll reconvene in another 40 minutes and we'll see what we get from these missions. And I'll send some more missions out before we end off. Well, welcome back then, people. Right, well, I should be able to debrief my frigate crew. Heck yes, look, it's all green and lovely. Let's go and hit this one up then. Let's go and do the debrief. I guess. Let's see what we get. Debrief Commander. Nice one. Good, cool, yeah, we've got Syro Pump. We've got some Albion Pearls. And that's about it. Okay, well, thank you very much. Cool, right. nice. Okay, I guess that's kind of okay. We've got some credits, we've got some units. Nice, let's head on over then. And let's just send out my frigate crew on another sort of expedition. Eh? Boom. And we're going to do... I'm going to do a long one now because it doesn't really overly matter. You know, because I'm, I'm probably going to pick this up probably tomorrow morning, so it doesn't really matter. I know there's a, a mining mission, but uh, let's just go across. Oh, look, one of them's already a B-class. Oh, that's pretty darn cool, isn't it? Okay, one of them's gone up to a B already. All right, well, let's uh, pick a nice mining vessel to go out with them. we go with this one. It's got 32. And I think that should do the trick. All right, that'll do. Yep, five star in that one. And there we go. That one's heading out. Brilliant, eh? All right, so one's already gone up to a B class. We've already got my multi tool up to an S class, and we've got it pretty decked out when it comes to weapons and utility. It's already usable, but we want to get a load of scanner modules, scanner modules, mining modules as well, and then we'll see what we can fit in in between. We're also learning some words, so let's have a look on the old words. So let's go into here, alien encounters, the Viking. Let's have a look at Viking word count. So how many words are there now? I'm not too sure. Um, I don't even know where it says the word count on this anymore, anyway. But there we go, we've got uh, the Gek as well, we've got to learn some words there. I mean, it says words learnt, 786, but we don't know what the maximum is. So we're just going to keep going and hopefully find out the maximum for that. Autophages, we only know 159 words. We've got to get up to 250, and I don't know whether that's the max, but it'd be nice if it said the max on the others, wouldn't it, as well? There's also a few other bits and bobs that we've got to do down here um, because we haven't actually aligned all of this. So perhaps we can do that at some point too, people. So yeah, I want to do my Outlaws one as well. We need to get that up. Um, but there we are. That's pretty much everything that I'm going to be delivering. I'm going to hopefully do these maybe daily, maybe every other day. We'll see how it goes, people, inside the view of us. But I'm also covering off um, Star City. No, Starfield! Starfield at the moment, people. God, space games. Space games galore, people, inside the view of us. I also want to pick up Robocop when it drops. But I don't know whether I'm going to have time to deliver that onto my channel. Anyway, people, take care. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.